If we are stuck in sin, if we feel I can't turn to Allah, I did something wrong, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in two beautiful passages. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us, He says that, remember, the noon, Yunus alayhi salam, when he, he left their people, he goes away. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us where He says, La ilaha illa anta subhanak. Inni kuntu min al-dhalimeen. That glory be to you, O Allah. You are alone. Glorified be to you, for I am amongst those who have done dhulm. I am the one who has done wrong. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respond back with? فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْغَمْ وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِي الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that and I accepted فَاسْتَجَبْنَا istijabat that I accepted the dua of Yunus alayhi salam when he was in distress and I took him out of that distress. If we have done so much sin that we are embarrassed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us. He says, Ya hey Allah, one of my favorite ayahs. He says, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَتُ مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ وَالْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, Ya Ibad, O my slave, you have sinned and sinned and sinned against yourself that you can't even look at yourself in the mirror. He says, لا تقنتو من رحمة الله Do not lose hope in the mercy of Allah. إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا Bring all your sins together and turn to me with ikhlas. Ikhlas and sincerity. And I will forgive you of your sins. إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ He uses the sifa of ghafoor, not ghafar, not ghafir, but the sifa of ghafoor rahim It is that mercy, that forgiveness. When Allah uses dhamma, just fatakasa dhamma separates these three. When Allah uses dhamma, إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ When He says ghafoor, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that sifa means that not only will you forget the sin that you did, but remember, Allah takes qasam, وَالشَّمْسِ وَضُحَاهَا وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا تَلَاهَا وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا جَلَّاهَا وَالْلَيْنِ إِذَا يَغْشَاهَا وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَاهَا وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا طَحَاهَا وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا Allah is taking that by the moon, by the sun. He is taking by the earth, by the sky. Because you're going to do a sin either on the earth or in the sky during the night, during the day. If you don't do it during that time, then you will do it within your own own self. Allah is taking qasam that all of these will be witnessed against you. They will know that the sin that you did, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when He forgives you with ghafoor, Allah is saying, Allah is saying, إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ That I will forgive you in such a manner that you yourself will forget the sin that you committed. That the earth will forget if you committed it on the earth. If you committed it in the air, the air will forget. The sun will forget, the moon will forget, everything will forget you yourself that your soul will forget. Then on the day of judgment, the angels that wrote it down, Kiram and Katibin, it will be erased from the books. The angels will be made to forget. And on the day of judgment, Ya Subhanallah, on the day of judgment, I will not even remind you of the sin that you did. And I will say, Udkhuluha bi salam, Udkhuluha bi salam. Enter inside with peace. Enter inside with peace. Where he says, Ya, Ya ayyatuha nafsul mutma'inna irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan marudiyya fadukhuli fi ibadi wadukhuli jannati That come my slave, come my slave, enter inside of Jannah, enter inside of Jannah and be happy, O oh my slave. Be happy, O oh my slave.